not voicing your opinion is the easiest way to make sure that your opinion doesn't count. And so can you tell us a little bit about what brings you here and what the issue is? Absolutely. Well, the issue is LD1708, which is initiative to create the Pine Tree Power Company, which would replace CMP and Versant with uh, consumer-owned utilities. We would like to make the electric production in Maine a publicly-owned utility for the purpose of environmentalism and cost-effectiveness. I feel like it's really important mm -hmm. that we get out here and, and um, speak and represent our, you know, the people in our area. Um. And they are trying to vote today to allow a referendum vote on the public utility power says, so that we can pass petitions to get it on the ballot. The bill doesn't even make it happen, just gets it out to voters. So not voting for this bill is like, to me, not voting for democracy. It's saying, I don't even want to give people the choice of doing this. And I think that is blocking free speech. It's blocking people's ability to express themselves by voting their conscience. How can the First Amendment help you achieve your goals? Well, I'm here and there's nobody, I'm not afraid. You know, I've worked in a lot of foreign countries. I'm not afraid that someone's gonna come and like drag me out of my office and, you know, interrogate me and lock me up. Well, I think it's very important. Um, I think that if we didn't have it, it would be much harder to do activism of any sort uh, or voice your opinions on any position that wasn't endorsed by the government. In Maine, we're very lucky to have a referendum process because we can pass a petition and um, allow the people to decide if the legislature and the governor is not doing legislation that we will prefer. We have the option to have direct democracy um, about those issues.